Do you know that you can do quantitative data analysis using free ChatGPT version and free ChatGPT file uploader Chrome extension? In less than five minutes, let me show you how. First of all, we are going to download a test Excel data file from the Internet. I'm going to be using this one here. I downloaded it from the Internet. As you can see, it has a lot of data that we are going to be analyzing. Let us remove the graphs and structure it in a good format with only the data. This is our finished Excel file without graphs. We need to open it and save it as a CSV format. ChatGPT can analyze any formats, but I feel it is always better to convert to CSV. After that, we now have our file to be analyzed. Part 2. Now let us download a Chrome extension that we'll be using for free to upload our data files for analysis. Go to Google and in the search bar, type Chrome Extensions ChatGPT File Uploader. I'm going to leave a link to this extension in the description of the video. Now let us open this ChatGPT File Uploader link. It will lead you to this extension. As you can see, this is a free Chrome extension with over 30,000 downloads. Let us install it. Just click the button Add to Chrome and the installation process and activation will proceed automatically. Now we have our extension installed. Let us check it out. Go to Chrome Options, then go to More Tools, and then Extensions. This is our extension installed and active. Now let us check it out in ChatGPT. If you don't have a ChatGPT account, I have a video on how to open up an account and also how to use ChatGPT. You can watch it. As you can see, our free ChatGPT account now has a File Upload button. Let us turn off our plugin and you see what happens. Go to Extensions and turn off the plugin. As you can see, the File Upload button has disappeared. Let us turn it on again and boom, it is back. Now we are going to type a command in ChatGPT tab to start analyzing our document. Type the following command. I'm going to give you data from Excel. I want us to draw conclusions, analysis, and interpretations together. You are going to analyze it and understand it first. Now we have given ChatGPT a command of what we want it to do. Let us upload our research file and start the analysis. Click the green Submit File button and it will open File Explorer. Now look for your file. This is our CSV file. Let us select it and the upload process will start. As you can see, ChatGPT has uploaded all our file. Now if you see that it has stopped, for example, when your file is very long, just press Continue and it will upload the whole document. Also, through this process, it can bypass the document is long error that happens when you just copy the data from Excel and paste it in the tab. Now ChatGPT has decided to organize our data first in a tabular form. It understands the columns and rows of the data, and it correctly links the data to its title. Now we have entered everything in ChatGPT. What is left is us asking questions. ChatGPT is saying that now that the data is organized, please let me know what specific questions or analysis you would like to perform on this data. It is even giving you examples of what it is capable of doing. That we could analyze sales by region, rep or item, calculate total revenue, find top-selling products, etc. This is awesome. Let us give it this command. Give me a list of all possible analysis we can do on this data. As you can see, we have over 20 possible actions we can do on this data. Now we can ask ChatGPT to give us a solution to each one of them until we are done with the 20 of them. You can always just copy the answers and paste them in your Word document and then organize after. Let us be a little more stubborn. Let us ask ChatGPT to answer each one of them one by one. As you can see, the AI is reading the list and giving us analysis on the data for every parameter on the list. Now let us try analyzing the options one by one. Type the following command in ChatGPT. From the data I provided, analyze total sales and revenue for each region, that is, Central, East, and West. We have our data analyzed with answers. You can see that ChatGPT is trying to give us ways how to calculate these by giving the values as XXX. We need to change that and get actual values. Let us type the following command in ChatGPT. Let us ask it why it is representing the values in the format XXX units. This representation is just an explanation of how it is coming to the answers. Let us tell it to continue. In this way, we are telling the AI to continue and fill in the values to give us real values and not example of how to come to conclusions. As you can see, we have real values. Below, we have a summary of the interpretation of the thought process. You can proceed to ask questions one by one until you have analysis of all your data.
You can copy the results in Microsoft Word and do some editing and formatting, then you proceed to save. This can save you so many hours of hectic work. You can analyze any kind of data with this method. This is helpful mostly for simple to moderate data tasks. For bigger data tasks that require programming languages like Python and R, can also be analyzed using ChatGPT, but that will be in my next video. Now let us ask the AI to give us some recommendations. Type the following command in the tab. What recommendations can you give the company to undertake in order to improve these sales? As you can see, we have some great recommendations in relationship to the trends in our data that ChatGPT now understands its trends. My best recommendation is this one. Focus on top-selling items, since the data shows that certain items such as binders and pens are top-selling products. The company can prioritize marketing and promotional efforts for these items to further boost their sales. These are valid and logical recommendations. You can proceed to ask more questions or even ask ChatGPT to identify questions you would ask it to focus on. This is a great way to analyze quantitative data and it is all free. Isn't this awesome? A reminder, kindly do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon for my next video. I will be talking about representing this data on graphs using ChatGPT in my next video. If you have any questions, kindly put them in the comment section. I will be answering them. Thanks for watching, gang. Meet in the next video.